Sometimes a game is addictive. You can't put it down. You just want one last try to get through a level or to defeat a boss. This happened to me with Skyforce Anniversary. Even though this game is simple and fairly short, I just wanted to keep on upgrading my ship and get through the levels. But what is Skyforce Anniversary? Well, it's a remake of a remake of an old Symbian phone game. It doesn't sound very promising, does it? Especially not if you know that the Polish developer of Infinite Dreams only released a string of mobile games. Skyforce is basically a simple top-down shoot-em-up or shmup. You're flying a plane with a top-down view and you must shoot enemy planes, destroy turrets and sink boats. In the beginning you do this with a simple machine gun, but along the way you unlock side guns and rockets as well. Every enemy you shoot leaves stars and power-ups behind that are used to make your ship stronger. And you need to make your ship stronger. With the default ship it's very hard to get even through the first level. After finishing a level the next one will be available. But you can also decide to replay it and try to finish one of the four missions. If you finish these missions you get more stars and you unlock a higher difficulty for the level. As you see, there's much to unlock and this keeps the game fresh. When you die, you didn't die in vain because you keep your stars. With these stars you can upgrade your ship, so the next run might be a bit more successful. This kept me trying and grinding, even though I'm not the type of person that likes to grind a lot. Then the story. You are on a rescue mission to rescue shot down pilots. And in the meantime, you must defeat the evil general that shot them down in the first place. The story is told in in-game cutscenes, at the start of each level and when you encounter a boss fight, and it's not done very well. After a few levels I lost interest completely. The story is not really important in this game, it's clearly just a motive to shoot stuff. But it's ok, I didn't miss it. As mentioned before, Skyforce has its roots as a mobile game. Because of this I didn't expect anything from the graphics. I was pleasant surprised though. The graphics look sharp and the game runs smoothly, even on the PS Vita. It doesn't mean that the graphics are amazing, it's still a top down shooter, but I never had the feeling I was playing an outdated mobile game. Same I can say about the sounds. They are crystal clear and fitting the game. It doesn't mean that you should blast the volume at 10 though, since in a shooter like this, the shooting sounds dominate everything but it's fitting and tolerable. On the other hand, the music is really good. The tracks pump you up and give you a mood for shooting all the enemies down. The only downside is that there aren't many tracks. Even though the game is just 9 levels long, some tracks are reused. And because you replay the levels dozens of times anyway, you have a lot of time to get bored of the soundtrack. For the most time, I did enjoy the music though. So, it's a good game then? Yes, but I can truthfully say that it isn't for everyone. I really like the RPG elements of upgrading your ship, but there is a clear downside to this system. You start the game greatly underpowered, and you have to play the first level a number of times before you are upgraded enough to finish this level. Then, when you start playing the second level, you get completely butchered. So you have to go back to the first level and play through it a dozens of times more to just stand a chance to beat the next level. The repetition is undeniable. I didn't mind grinding through this game, but I can imagine that many people would hate this. Another downside of this RPG system becomes clear when you are close to finish the game, and there is nothing to upgrade anymore. From that moment on, there is very little reason to grind and replay the earlier levels, and the high difficulty gets annoying. As soon as I finished the last level on the easiest difficulty setting, I lost all my interest in this game. Since there was no reason to do that level again, and there were no upgrades anymore. So in the end, do I recommend Skyforce Anniversary? Yes. Yes, I think that everyone should play this game, at least try it. It's a great gateway game for the shoot 'em up genre, and especially on the PS Vita, it's a nice game to pick up and play. It's cheap and it's very addictive as well. So, this was my review of Skyforce Anniversary, and I really liked it. But what did you think about it? 
let me know in the comments below like and subscribe if you like the video and see you for the next review bye bye